Hey, this is Eric with Techno RV, and today I'm going to answer another question that's come in from a customer. This is uh, Todd out of Arizona. He's got a 50 amp RV. He uses the Surge Guard 34950, and he wants to know if the 34950 Surge Guard will work if he's on a 30 amp pedestal. And uh, the short answer to that is yes, it will work. Uh, you can, uh, as long as you have the proper adapter. Uh, that the 34950 work, and this will work in both directions. If you're in a 50 amp rig on a 30 amp pedestal or a 30 amp rig on a 50 amp pedestal, and you have one of the Surge Guard products, as long as you've got the proper adapter. So let's take a look at each of those scenarios uh, separately. If you're in a 50 amp rig on a 30 amp pedestal, uh, you're going to need a 30 amp to 50 amp adapter. That means a 30 amp male end to a 50 amp female end. And then uh, on the female end, of course, you'll attach your surge guard to that. Uh, and the surge guard will protect your RV uh, just the same. If you're in a 30 amp RV on a 50 amp pedestal, and you're using the, the surge guard 34930, uh, then you can do that. Uh, in this case, you'll need an adapter that's got a 50 amp uh, male end to a 30 amp uh, female end and then just connect your, your surge guard to it. And again, it'll work just the same. Uh, on, a, on, an, on an adapter uh, that's a, a 50 amp male to 30 amp female, uh, if you ever break one of those open, actually the, the part that's on the 50 amp male side, uh, one of those uh, hot pins is actually just a dummy plug because a 50 amp RV has two hot lines and a 30 amp RV only has one hot line. So, on an adapter, they just kind of cut that one hot line out. And uh, again, it'll work just the same. Something that you do need to be careful of, no matter uh, which way you're adapting there, is how much power that uh, you're drawing. If you're in a 50 amp rig on a 30 amp pedestal, uh, then you, know, you need to plan on utilizing, uh, I would say, under 3,600 watts of power. Uh, that means one air conditioner unit, uh, maybe you can use one heat producing item in your RV, like an air fryer or, or a space heater or something like that. On the other side, if you're in a 30 amp uh, RV on a 50 amp pedestal, uh, then, you know, of course, all of your circuitry is designed for 50 amps there, and you need to take the response, or is designed for 30 amps. So you need to take the responsibility there to make sure that you're not overloading uh, your system there. Breakers are, of course, in place uh, that should help with that. Uh, but if you're willingly uh, in a 30 amp rig on a 50 amp pedestal, I would be a little more proactive than just counting on my breakers and just making sure that I don't uh, pull more power in than is designed for my RV. So there you have it. If you're interested in uh, the portable surge guard products, uh, then you can find them over at uh, technorv.com.